Give it a go. Ready? <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, jeez! <laughs> Free, 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 free. This is the, no, I can't say third, episode three of The Oval. Welcome back to the workshop, everybody. Thank you for joining us again. This is another episode where we're working on the Beetle. A massive thank you to Just Campers for sponsoring these videos and making these videos possible. Just Campers have provided all of the parts we need to get this poor little Beetle back on the road again. If you've got a classic car, an old VW Beetle, a camper van, something like that, sitting on the driveway, I hope that these videos have inspired you to get it out, get it back on the road, get it recommissioned just like we're doing, and Just Campers will definitely be able to help you do that. I've been here cleaning and cleaning, sorting parts. I've got my bearings. I have got the bearings that I need, um, there's more in the bag as well, to hopefully get that engine back together. The engine case halves were in such a greasy, oily, horrible state. I don't want to be cutting corners, especially with the engine. The whole point of this recommissioning job is that we're getting it working and running and reliable and driving. So the engine is key to that. Very quick thank you to Greg at RDS Motorcycles down in Rye. He has vapor blasted the engine cases for me and they look spotless. It's insane. John hasn't seen them yet. So he doesn't know I've done that. So that's gonna be quite a good surprise for him. This is the second episode. I've been saying we're gonna get the engine rebuilt. Um, hopefully today's the day. We have got a table full of brake components, wheel bearings, seals, grease seals, steering bits, everything we need. The pedal assembly I've rebuilt, that is all ready to go back on. So if for whatever reason we can't do the engine, we are getting onto that stuff. But we'll find out as soon as John gets here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Call me out there, boy. <laughs> <laughs> morning. Good morning. Look at this. Whoa, whoa, look at that. That's cool, isn't it? A new case, lovely. It, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's cool. That's very cool. That has been vapor blasted. Vapor blasted. Mm. Look, in, it's inside, it's spotless. I'm scared to look inside. Yeah, no, get in there. Oh, blimey, look at that. John is steaming straight into the engine rebuild. The rods are going back on the crank. <laughs> I've never seen him so happy seeing that crankcase. Everything is nice and clean. It's looking good. New bearings all going in really nicely. We've got quite a divide in the workshop today. Basically, John is over there in the clean area. I have been banished to the degreasing table. So I'm filthy, still degreasing parts and cleaning parts over here. No, your Nowhere place. Nowhere near where John is over there with all the nice new clean engine parts. John is just smearing some chocolate sauce around the, <laughs> the edge of the case. It is actually a gasket sealer. Is it? Well, hopefully, unless you picked up the wrong pot. So that's our, that's our cam in there. That drives our oil pump. This little uh, pup here. Yeah, so we're gonna put him on there, hopefully. Cool. Nice, yeah, that's it's good. A pain, it's a pain if you forget to do that before yes. you talk it all down. Yeah. Something to drink. And that should pick up on there. That's good. Most modern stuff's done on like what they call the yield bolt. So stretch. you do it to a torque and then you have to stretch it through degrees. Yeah. But on, like on old stuff with the big cast iron heads and everything, you used to torque it down. Undo one at a time and... No, get it warm, and then go back and torque them down again. Oh. Yeah. We 
pulled it apart. Dom's had to put new guides in the head. Well, on the exhaust valves anyway. But they're all very nasty. As you can see, the seat's all pitted and not very nice. Two in the middle of the inlets, two on the outside of the exhaust. The exhausts are normally worse. But we're going to do the inlet valve for this experiment. And basically just dress it up around here because this is our seat. A little bit of that down the valve guy because we don't want to stick in. We don't want any grinding paste on there. In it goes. We pick up our twiddle stick. In with the twiddle stick. That's it. It's all about the sound. Can you hear that? that. That's it cutting into the seat. So give it a little lift on each one. And it helps the paste sit back down. And here we go. Oh yes. I mean, don't get me wrong, that's quite a wide seat. But the dark grey, that is all what we've just cut. So you don't want to see any pitting or anything. That is a really clean seat. And we pop that back in. Getting very late, mate. I'll finish this one. You can finish the others. This engine build is starting to freak me out a little bit. We are getting closer and closer to me going back to filming the repair shop. And then a couple of weeks after that, it's the Volkswagen show. And I'm a bit worried. Um, the whole point of this project is to get it ready for Volkswagen show, to show it off on the Just Campus stand. If we make it, it's gonna be a few late nights. But luckily, John is on the way up this morning. We're gonna have a good day. And hopefully today, the engine is going back together. I've prepped as much as I can. I've got all the pieces we need, I hope. Then I can put that to one side and we can get on with the brakes and all the other mechanical parts. That is a complete engine on the stand, ready to go, ready to test run, actually, which is not happening today. Do you want to do the front brakes, the rear brakes, master cylinder and the hard lines? I think we should do the front to rear brake pipe. Hot, yes. Yeah, because there's nothing in the way at the moment. But let's get all the brake pipes in place and then we can build each corner up in turn. Fine. Done. Onto the brake lines then. Onto the brakes. Let's go. From now, we have to get through all of this. Back in place, bearings, shoes, springs, bearings. Pedals. Pedals, yep. Miles in there. Okay, there's a lot. We can do this. What's happening, John? Uh, I'm removing a front to back hard line uh, so we can put a new one in. Are you enjoying yourself? Oh, I am having a ball. <laughs> Someone turn the light out. <laughs> Don, what's happened? It's got a bend in it. <laughs> no wonder that didn't work. Look at the shape of it. <laughs> do we have some brake pipe? Oh yes, we do. <sighs> Obviously the original, made in Brazil. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a good start, isn't it? I don't think we'll be using that one. No. No, look in there. Ugh. So we've run the front of the rear through the car. It's not finalised yet, but it's through the car. So we're at the back. When it comes out the back, it goes into a T. So it goes to the passenger side and the driver's side rear. So that's what we're doing now. We're splitting up. We're going to carry on there and join everything up. To the flexible ones. To the flexible ones. Then back to another hard line. Yeah, it's... Um, it's a voyage. So we're gonna take another little one out here onto our flexi hose. The 
brake hoses and lines are all pretty much in. There's still a lot more to do. We've, I've just got my calendar out and tried to look at what day John's up next and had a slight meltdown, <laughs> <laughs> major panic. But we are not gonna get this thing done. And I go back to filming repair shop, so I've got barely any time left. The engine is still over there on the bench. The brakes are still on that bench. <laughs> The car's still on the lift. The car's still on the lift. We haven't even looked at the wiring. Wiring. So I am going to have a busy couple of days doing as much as I can. I've got a parts list to order, back to Just Campers um, to get a few more bits. Um, we're going to do what we can. Fingers crossed we get there. Good night. We'll see you in the morning. Cheers. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Make yourself feel better with lots of sweet chocolate and stuff. Well, because the day's going to, you know the day's going to go that bad. You had to bring chocolate with you to sweeten it up. It's getting pretty bad right now. Yeah. If we have any issues with this engine and it doesn't run for whatever reason, we're we... pushing it to Volkswagen. <laughs> Basically, yeah, <laughs> we are in trouble. I built the rebuilt the fuel pump. I'll own up to that one. If that's wrong or not sealing or something's wrong, the carb's been completely rebuilt. Uh, Everything, the electrical, the, the whole thing has been completely apart. So there's a lot <laughs> that could need some tweaking or completely rebuilding. <laughs> <laughs> Well, let's see if we can get this engine running. Running. It's a good job you're here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Someone's got to make the coffee. It's actually lighter than, than I expected, to be fair. But they don't want to go back on. It just the, needs a bit of persuading. The dummy build, right. Right, the engine is on the bench. The flywheel is fitted. We've checked all the um, end flow. It's all good. I've learnt my lesson with the end float after the camper van episodes, if anyone remembers that. John's just run to the van to bring in his engine stand, which I cannot wait to see. Look at that! Look at it! Right, this is the first time um, that we've used this. It was gifted to me by uh, a good friend, Graham. I've put it together and I think today it's going to be our test rig. It's its first outing. Yeah, so we're going to physically try and run an engine up on it. It's brilliant. It's fantastic. Well, isn't thank it? you, Graham. Yes, thanks, Graham. Did you make this, John? Uh, uh, I, yes. It does allow me to run an engine. Is that an old floorboard? It is an old floorboard. We have fuel in a can, so this, this will be our fuel tank. Obviously not hooked up yet, but it will be. Um, we want to see if we can get oil pressure first before we do anything. Crank over the engine to, so it'll be spinning over for a while. That will build oil pressure, hopefully. Hopefully. Oil we get pressure. oil pressure, then we we'll move on to- On some... Johnny's little rig, we've got an oil pressure light. We have. So whilst John is cranking over this engine, we are going to be looking anxiously at that light and hoping that it goes out. <laughs> <laughs> That'll mean that we've built enough oil pressure running around the whole case and it's everywhere it needs to be. Hopefully. Then reinstate the ignition. And some fuel. And some fuel. And then, and then keep everything crossed. And then wait for it to go pop. It's not going to go pop. <laughs> <laughs> All the batteries ailing. Battery, oh, <laughs> oh, oh got to pull the one off the van in a minute. Still no oil pressure. No. Oh, oh dear. I said, times like <laughs> this, I think, why didn't I bring a jump pack with me? <laughs> <laughs> um, you are right there, John? <laughs> yeah, what are you up to? I'm just pulling this out and putting the beetle. on. <laughs> oh, at least the bus is coming in helpful for something, hey? <laughs> well, it's the first time it's been used. Yeah, but as well as a timber store. <laughs> yeah. Hey! See? Well, now watch. There it is. That's all it needed. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. It should last a bit longer than that. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Well, no, it'd be perfect if it was out for a bit longer. <laughs> We've got oil pressure. We've got oil pressure. That's it. Yeah. That's, that's what we need, yeah. the visual aid. Dom has presented me with this. 
which is very nice, but it has got the wrong ends on it. So it goes on there. It interrupts the feed, basically. Yeah, it just gives us a visual aid. And if, so we can... Yeah, if, it, if you've actually got a spark, it should light up. John is very nervous. Oh, I, I don't usually see him this nervous. But... Yeah. So please <laughs> yeah. be kind to John in the comments. You already are. You're, they're always really nice to you. That's because they feel my pain, Dom. Yeah. Feel my pain. <laughs> <laughs> it's also very important to make sure that the, the spark rock. is actually happening at the right time. Yes. Which is all to do with the timing, which we can change, but we just need to go through this all methodically, one by one, ticking everything off. Ready? Go on then. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, look. Yep. Oh, there it is. Right, so with oil pressure, tick. Tick. Spark, tick. tick. Spark at the right time, tick. tick. Fuel. It's only fuel, that's it. It's only no? fuel. <laughs> oh, look at the fuel line. No, look at Dom's fuel pump. Hang Everybody. on, hang on. Ready? Well done, Dom. What? Oh, no. Yep, Dom's oh. mega build. Yeah, look at it. <laughs> well done, Dom. Oh, no. I told him to leave it alone. He wouldn't listen. It's oh. squirting out everywhere. Oh, look, there's a goldfish swimming around in the yeah. bottom. <laughs> God, what have oh, you done? No. Okay, right. All right. We will deal with this. We'll see oh, you soon. <laughs> we, we, right, yeah, yeah. <laughs>
because it can't stay in the centre. Which all of these things were happening on the camper van when we first got it. Yeah. We're going to knock the old one out and push the new one in. Yes, we are. Out with the old. In. Thank you, Just Campers, for our early 180 mil clutch for Dom's mum's engine. We're just about to put it in. Centre plate, pressure plate, no contaminants. Brake clean the face of this. We don't get oil on this. This we've also brake clean, say so nice and shiny. This is Dom's centering tool, one of many types, but this is a fail safe. He goes in like so. Like so. So we'll put all these in, all six of them. Mind that, John. <laughs> <laughs> Slide it in. Uh, Easy. Admittedly, we are. Oh! Oh, no! <laughs> <John. laughs> it's got some patina it, now. It took me ages to make that. <laughs> the engine is officially back in the Beetle. There it is. It's in the hole. It's done, it's bolted in, the clutch is lined up, it's all in and good to go. Yeah, the clutch was not a problem, What was a it? day. No, the clutch wasn't an issue, it was straight no. in. Doing this engine has been a bit of a surprise. We were not expecting to do it, um, so it's a bit of a bonus episode for you. Um, but thank you again for, well, big thank you to John for helping. Couldn't have done it without him. Um, also, big <laughs> thank you again to Just Campers for supporting us through this whole journey. Whether we can make it to the Volkswagen show is, I think, still very much <laughs> up in the air i'm not committing to it yet but hopefully saturday we'll see you there <laughs> he's committed what do you think, now, do you think we're gonna do it he's decommitting uh no we're not gonna be there <laughs> <laughs> we are gonna try our best to be there we'll be on the just campus stall thank you so much for watching we'll see you next time Ta -da. <laughs>